Hello friends welcome to the service now world and today we will see part 11 of service now developer interview series so without any delay let's go to the first question and the first question is how to use info messages in client script so it can be done through g underscore form dot add info message and uh, if you want to add error message so then we can use g underscore form dot add error message so in by business rule we are using like gs dot add add info message gs dot add error message the next question is how to find slow script so for finding the slow script in, in filter navigator we need to type system diagnostic and under states you will get for a slow script you have to click on that and then you will get a report which will show like which script taking uh, how much time in the execution so you will get it like um, you can get that something called like a report only right next question what is query builder so query cmdb query builder allows building the complex queries with non cmdb classes and relationships to which they are connected and it can be directly accessed from the instance uh, instance name slash the query builder dot do next question what is the use of get reference method so get reference method gets the record used in another reference field for example you have a caller field in incident form and with get reference method you can retrieve the user record and save this a uh, glide record into a variable so i'll give you one uh, common example let's say you have a, a caller field in your incident form and the requirement is like that you need to populate the caller mobile number or uh, their, their department right so what you have to do you have to use the get reference method and you can populate and populate into one variable so that's the thing is there the fifth question is what is the execution order of transform map scripts so this will be like uh, i can say queue in the queue let's say firstly they will ask like uh, what are the transform map scripts are available so once once you say like uh, these many transform scripts are there so there might be possibilities like that like they will ask the next person related to that so that will be the next question so like what is their sequence what is execution order so you tell the first they say sequence is first is on start transform script then on before then field level source script is there so field level source script that is source script only then on foreign record insert then on choice create then on reject then record level script record level script something like we are seeing that like we having one check field like run run script right when we check that script when we check that field we will getting one uh, script field they are will writing the transform script so that is record level script then on after then on complete so the next question is can we use current dot update function in before business rules so i have seen in multiple interviews like this question definitely they will ask most of the times so you say the change if the changes made in before business rule are automatically saved when all before business rule are complete so let's say what will happen that i'm telling you like so uh, like if any changes made in the record so business rule will run automatically and save all the records okay and the update method triggers business rules to run on the same table for insert and update operation potentially leading to a business rule calling itself over and over so in simple words we can say that like we don't need to use the current dot update in before business rule 
बिकॉज इफ वी यूज दैट सो मे बी मे बी अवर बिजनेस रूल विल कॉलिंग इट सेल्फ अगेन एंड अगेन एंड इट मे विल गो इन टू द इन्फिनाइट लूप सो इट्स नॉट अ गुड प्रैक्टिस टू कॉल द बिजनेस रूल अगेन एंड अगेन राइट या सो दैन लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव आस्ड वट इज स्क्रैच पैड सो जी एंड स्कोर बेसिकली दिस जी एंड स्कोर स्क्रैच पैड वी आर यूजिंग सो जी एंड स्क्रोच स्क्रैच पैड इज अ टेम्प्रेरी वेरिएबल to pass server side values to client side if client needs server data and display business rule is used to initialize scratch pad and make it available to the client script so that today's question is what are the best practices for writing business rule so if you know the answer please write in the comment box and i will give answer in the next video till that time thank you god bless you all